How to complete the Time Attack achievement in Black Ops 3 Zombies. Objective, in Garod Krovi, complete Time Attack round 20. I'm going to show you my strategy to complete all Time Attack checkpoints, those being 5 rounds in 5 minutes, 10 rounds in 13 minutes, 15 rounds in 24 minutes, and 20 rounds in 32 minutes. This strategy features no gobble gums, and I will neglect to use the Super Easter Egg RK5. At the start of the game, collect the Quick Revive Loose Change, then clear out the six round one zombies as fast as possible, eliminating with either headshots or knives. Start with the windows near the boss arena, then work your way towards the main map. When the round flips, buy into department store and then into jug. Claim the loose change and grab shield part one. Perform round two in the bunker, continuing to prioritize headshots and knives. Only exit the bunker when zombies stop spawning at the two close windows. Otherwise, you may trigger a distant spawn in department store. As round three starts, buy the Vesper off the wall. We are going to rock this thing all game. Rounds three through five are all to be done here in the bunker. Tap away with the Vesper and only leave the bunker to take out stragglers at the ends of rounds. Here's an overview on key power-up drops and how to use them. Never pick up Carpenter as this will only make your rounds take longer. Insta-kill, nuke, and death machine are S tier. Do your best not to stack them on top of one another and try to save the nuke drops for late in the round as opposed to early. Also try to save max ammos until you've burned through some of the Vesper ammo. After you complete round 5, you should get the notification of the first time attack completed and the wrench will be available on this bulletin board. The next 5 rounds are all about perks. As round 6 starts, buy through infirmary to get to power, grabbing the infirmary shield part if it's on the way. Turn the power on, then run back to bunker to complete the round. As round 7 starts, run and buy jug in the department store, then return to bunker. As round 8 starts, run through infirmary, buy stamina up, unlike me, then buy the bridge across and add the HVK to your arsenal. This is going to be our backup weapon. Find the armory shield part, then buy the door back into the bunker. Build the shield when you safely can. The shield is best for eliminating Valkyries and Manglers, as well as large groups of zombies. As round 9 starts, I had to go get stamina up, then run to tank factory for double tap, return to bunker. This is the first possible Valkyrie drone round. As round 10 starts, run through armory to supply depot to buy speed cola, then return to bunker to finish out your second time attack. At this point, you should have collected a Dragon Command code cylinder. The next five rounds are all about unlocking Pack-a-Punch. Round 11 was my Valkyrie round, so I couldn't yet start the module. Go to activate a module at the start of rounds, complete the module, then return to bunker to finish off that round, likely collecting your next code cylinder in the process. Do this for Supply Depot and Tank Station as well. As the round count creeps up, don't be afraid to use the Bunker Trap here, it's very strong and cheap. After the round 15 time attack completes, head to a dragon platform. Complete round 16 here at the platform while the zombies are aggroed onto you. The flight is a moderately long cutscene, best done between rounds. If you run out of ammo and a weapon, don't worry, we're about to go pack a punch anyways. When your round flips, head to the hatchery. As soon as you arrive, start packing and repacking your weapons. As you finish up, the zombies will be getting quite close. Take out as many as you like before taking the sewer to Belinsky. Complete all remaining rounds back in the bunker, using the trap in the Vesper wall by for ammo. Treat the HVK like a pure backup, only swapping to it when you run out of ammo. A second Valkyrie round will occur somewhere between 17 and 22, so look out for that as well. When you clear round 20, you'll get your achievement as well as access to the Fury Song melee weapon. It's probably not the best if you want to continue to high round. Subscribe for more achievement guides.